So these are the ingredients you're going to need for a crock pot uh, meatloaf. You do not have to use a nut milk. Um, it's just what I'm choosing to use because it's a healthier option. So you will need a 3 4 cup of milk, 2 eggs, a 3 4 cup of breadcrumbs, 1 packet of onion soup, and 2 pounds of meat. Now I'm going to be doing a sauce to go on top. Um, and I will show you that when I make that and what goes or what's involved in the ingredients for the top sauce. All of the seasonings, the breadcrumbs, the eggs, the milk, um, the onion soup mix, and you're gonna, gonna mix it all together. <clears throat> Meat in after you've mixed all of the sauces. And you're gonna mix that all together. To take an aluminum foil, one sheet, um, put it in so that it's overlapping the sides. It makes it a little bit easier to pull your meatloaf out. Um, you'll shape your meatloaf into like an oval or a round shape and put it in the crock pot. This is the stuff you need for your sauce on top of the meatloaf. You will need two tablespoons of brown sugar two tablespoons of mustard, any kind you want. I generally use honey Dijon, however I'm out. Um, and then one third cup of ketchup. Um, and then you put it over the top and put your lid on your crock pot and you're good to go. This is after you've mixed together all of your sauces, or I mean, excuse me, the mustard, ketchup, and brown sugar. Um, I think I'll mix it a little bit more. It looks like I missed some of the uh, mustard, but this will be going on top of your meatloaf. Like after you smear it with your sauce, and then you're gonna put your lid on, and I'm gonna put mine. Oh, excuse the dirtiness there. I'm gonna put mine on high for the three hours. You can put it on low for six, but uh, dinner time for us is about four to five hours away so I'll just cook it on, um, on high and uh, then I can turn it to low when it is actually done. And that is your quick and easy meatloaf crock pot recipe. And uh, don't forget to tell me if you try it, whether you liked it, if it worked out for you, um, if you do it again. Um, and thanks so much for watching. Hey guys, I just want to let you know really quick that my pickiest eater in my family told me this was the best meatloaf recipe I've, or rest, well, best meatloaf I've ever made. So, you guys try it. Let me know what you think down below. <laughs>